Five nights before our trip to Orlando, we make a pit stop in the KSI Center in Miami, Florida. We are on the road to Survivor Series live this Saturday night. And so much Survivor Series implications on the line here in South Beach, including our main event, which will determine the advantage in the War Games matchup on Saturday. But what bigger way to kick things off than with championship action? It is a rare appearance on Raw for these two SmackDown superstars. Those women's tag team championships universal between both brands. Asuka and Io Sky prepare to stand alongside their Kabuki warrior sister, Kyrie Sane, and the women's world champion, Roxanne Perez, against a unit of SmackDown All-Stars in the women's War Games matchup. It is going down live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night at the Kia Center in Orlando at Survivor Series. But Asuka and Io Sky with business to handle here on Monday Night Raw. Bailey and Becky Lynch have been building momentum for themselves. Tag team victories over Katana Chance and Kaden Carter over Alba Fire and Isla Dawn just last week here on the Red Brand. Asuka and Io's Road to Survivor Series may feature an unfortunate defeat. Those women's tag team championships, which have been a center point against their Survivor Series rivals, may be disappearing thanks to these Raw Superstars. And their opponents, first, from San Jose, California, Bailey! Well, still to come tonight in your main event, live from Miami, the Survivor Series War Games Advantage is on the line. Seth freaking Rollins returns to action for the first time since August. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. Bad blood between these two superstars. High stakes, high reward in your Monday Night Raw main event. And here comes the second of two challengers. Becky Lynch and Bailey have been building momentum week in and week out here on the red brand, earning their stripes as the number one contenders for the Women's Tag Team Championship. Asuka and Io Sky making the... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. The Unholy Union sneaking up behind the number one contenders. We briefly touched on the victory for Bailey and Becky Lynch last week over Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Certainly a matchup that was pivotal in getting Bailey and Becky this opportunity tonight. Obviously, the Unholy Union feeling some type of way that this opportunity to challenge for the Women's Tag Team Championship is not theirs. Well, sneak attack in the aisle way. Bailey and Becky Lynch are. Obviously gonna have a rebuttal, but they need to focus on the task at hand. Asuka and Io Sky have made the trip from SmackDown over here to Raw to defend those women's tag team championships, and we are underway. Well, not how Bailey and Becky look to start this matchup, although Becky very aggressive off the opening bell. Who knows, Alba and Isla may be trying to throw Bailey and Becky off their game, but maybe that quick pre-match attack is just gonna ignite them, cause them to be even more fired up here at South Beach tonight. Asuka and Io Sky, you gotta wonder where their minds are at. Ahead of War Games on Saturday. Two rings, one solid steel cage surrounding them. Four on four, the women of SmackDown, a lot of bad blood. Certainly a matchup built off championships. Greed, respect and lack thereof it, broken bonds. It's gonna be a hell of a contest on Saturday night. And of course, coming up on SmackDown on Thursday. Kabuki Warrior representative Kyrie Sane set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. The Survivor Series War Games Advantage matchup. There's Asuka dishing the fight back to Becky Lynch. These two women, no strangers to each other. They had several battles in 2023. One of them being at WrestleMania. Becky Lynch at one point in time thought she couldn't move forward with her career until she finally could prove that she could defeat the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Becky, somebody who's been on the cusp of championship gold for quite some time here on Monday Night Raw, but just has been able to grab that proverbial brass ring. 
Certainly a common enemy. And Chelsea Green and Piper Niven bringing Becky and Bailey together once again over the summer. And now they find themselves in number one contendership. Look at them with the titles. Bailey pulling the rug out from underneath. Theo Sky almost got the victory that time. It's going to take a lot more to keep the Kabuki Warriors down tonight. Asuka and Io have traded victories with Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark dating all the way back to August on SmackDown. Lots of turmoil between those two duos. Just one of the underlining storylines that surrounds the Women's War Games matchup on Saturday. Meanwhile, Bailey and Becky Lynch just try to dust themselves off from that attack from the Unholy Union. Saito on Io Sky. Bailey unfortunately taking one too many seconds to capitalize here. The genius of the sky. Never afraid to leave the soles of her boots and forces Bailey to do the same. To retain the titles, not just yet. Talk about the track record of Bailey and Becky Lynch. All the while they've been building up momentum. Asuka and Io, as we mentioned, trading victories with Baszler and Stark. Winning the championships all the way back at Queen of the Ring in September. Retaining them over those two women, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark as well. The season premiere of SmackDown last month. Now Asuka and Io Sky make the trip to Monday Night Raw five nights before they enter the match beyond War Games. So much action on the horizon comes Saturday in Orlando, but a pit stop to make here in Miami, Florida tonight. Asuka and Io Sky, best case scenario, is getting Bailey and Becky out of their way, retaining their championship, and gaining some last minute momentum before the matchup on Saturday night. Another tank tandem offense. Tag made to the genius, Io Sky. Io Sky is somebody who has really talked about throughout the early part of this year and even going back to last year is just on the cusp of breaking out on SmackDown, breaking through that glass ceiling. Io finding success, aligning herself with Asuka back in the summer and winning the women's tag team championships. Now with Kyrie Sane returning to the fold. Last month on the blue brand, the Kabuki Warriors certainly not afraid to push their weight around. One of the reasons why there is an alliance of all-stars over on the SmackDown brand. When you look at Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, Selena Vega, and Raquel Rodriguez, who are looking to take care of the Kabuki Warriors and Roxanne Perez this Saturday night. Meanwhile, Asuka just stacking the offense. Bailey has had no answer for the champions over the last few minutes. If this keeps up, it is going to be a long night here in Miami and a successful one for the Kabuki Warriors. Another tag made to EO. The champions keeping each other fresh. There's a pair of knees to the back. Oh, there's Bailey. Has had enough of being just a pawn in the Kabuki Warriors game. A nice reversal that time. EO collapsing under the pressure of the buckles. Bailey, full head of steam, comes from behind with a much needed bulldog attack. We can say the same about Bailey, somebody who has almost became a champion earlier this year. Will this be the moment? Not just yet. Bailey to belly on EO Sky. Asuka ensuring that we aren't going to get a three count just yet. Bailey earlier this year challenged for the WWE Women's Championship. That was in July, London, England, Money in the Bank. It was an unsuccessful outing against Rhea Ripley on that night. One of the best matches, dare I say, of 2024. Bailey does not forget about the heartbreak of that night. Now finding herself in another championship contention. Not looking to suffer the same defeat. Io Sky, however, may not give her a choice. German suplex on the outside and fouls it up with an Irish whip. And Io just unloading on one half of the contenders. Certainly tension riding high here in Miami. You can cut it with a knife ahead of Survivor Series. Bailey Crow on inside of the ring needs a much needed tag to Becky Lynch, but Io Sky and Asuka desperate for victory ahead of War Games. Bailey tried to rally here in Miami. Io Sky not allowing it. There's another reversal out of one half of the challengers. Once again, Io Sky sent into enemy territory. Full head of steam. Bailey gonna cut her in half. This could be a huge night here on Monday Night Raw. New women's tag team champions could be on the horizon. Bailey finally seeing some daylight and makes a much needed tag to the man, Becky Lynch. Becky, eyes locked on EO Sky, dropping a leg, looking to make it a dose. And she does. 
Oh, wait a minute. Counter by Io. So agile inside of the ring is one half of the champion. Becky Lynch able to pop the shoulder off the canvas, however. Becky's set now in enemy territory. Io Sky gonna make her pay. This is how EO is so dangerous. Such a hard hitter inside of that ring and can beat you from nearly anywhere. Up top, on the ground, in the corner, it does not matter. And another tag made of the Empress of tomorrow. Asuka, a veteran, inside of that ring, looking to pick apart a fellow one in Becky Lynch. Becky came in a house of fire off those leg drops. That may be all she had in the tank. Another tag made to Io. The Kabuki Warriors working like a well-oiled machine in the middle of the KSI Center. Becky gets out of the way and drops Io for her troubles. And another reversal by Sky. Almost had a pinfall there. These women moving a mile a minute. Crucifix bomb. Another pinfall attempt. New champions nearly crowned, but Io Sky just finds a way to get that shoulder removed from the canvas. We have got a barn burner on our hands for the Women's Tag Team Championships. You remember what happened last week on Raw? Not one, but two new champions crowned. Bronson Reed, the new Intercontinental Champion. Bianca Belair, the new WWE Women's Champion. Will this week's Monday Night Raw kick off in similar fashion with new Women's Tag Team Champions? Or will this onslaught by Io and Asuka continue? Still to come tonight, Damian Priest, Seth Rollins, so much writing on that matchup and so much hangs in the balance in regards to Survivor Series. Tag made to Bailey. Tag made to Asuka. Bailey meets Asuka in the middle. Delivers a rose plant. New champions on the horizon. Asuka gets the shoulder up. Appreciation being shown by this capacity crowd here in South Beach. Bailey, the role model, beating Asuka to the punch dead center of the ring. Unfortunately, the rose plant did not put this match away. And now on top with the Frankensteiner sends Asuka right back to the middle. Another tag made to Becky Lynch. Miami loud, Miami proud. The man, Scout and Asuka, bringing her down to the canvas, looking for the disarmer. And Asuka saved by Io off a pair of boosts to the back. Oh, Becky having none of it. Gonna turn her attention to the genius. Of the sky, Io getting dropped. Becky trying to ensure there is no more interference. Asuka creating a little separation there, had a moment of R&R &R as Becky turned her attention to Io Sky. And now Asuka just deflating the bubble here in the middle of Miami. Certainly a lot of the WWE Universe not a fan of the attitude and the actions that Asuka and Io Sky carry themselves and proceed with. But you can't argue with their success. Women's Tag Team Champions for a reason. And they are out to prove that point all over again tonight. Io looking to take out Becky. The man with a counter. Becky and Bailey have been on a roll for months. Is tonight where it all pays off. The man's got her eyes locked and she could be looking for a manhandle slam on Io Sky into the cover. Asuka gonna break things up. There is two times now, back to back, that Becky Lynch might have had this matchup won if it wasn't for the illegal competitor sticking their nose in between the ropes. Becky taking care of Asuka, but just as she made the mistake a few moments ago, there's Io Sky to capitalize. Becky eats the canvas. Becky might have shown her best hands. Io ahead of Survivor Series, maybe about to cross the finish line. Going for a submission hold here. Rare mistake out of the arsenal of Io, not watching her ring awareness. It's gonna be a guaranteed rope break. For Becky Lynch, discord knee. And another kick out that time. 
A lot of close calls over the Women's Tag Team Championship. Becky Lynch has got to be rocked off that knee. Sent to the corner. Enemy territory. Io and Asuka have done an incredible job throughout this matchup. Cutting off the ring and not allowing the opposing superstar to be near their partner. Just one of the many reasons why the tag team champions today, why they have turned away Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark on several of occasions, why issues on SmackDown have continued to develop. Becky Lynch just struggling to get to her feet. As a matter of fact, she might be out on her feet. After that knee, I don't know if Becky even knows where she's at. Oh man, Becky being hoisted on top. Not by will, but by force of the champion. Palm strike by Io. Bodies are about to go flying here in Miami. Spanish fly by Io Sky. And instead of going for the pinfall, Io tags in Asuka. The Empress of Tomorrow looking to rub some salt in the wounds. Put an exclamation point on this match. Sends Becky back into the corner. Another tag made to Io. These women working like a well-oiled machine. Becky in trouble. Double team Becky gets dropped on the back of her neck. Into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? Becky Lynch with a kick out. Bailey trying to rally this audience, but Io Sky on the top, over the moon salt, the maneuver that won them the tag team titles. It is the maneuver that retains them the gold here tonight. The Kabuki Warriors, wait a minute. Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark. It's a SmackDown invasion here on Monday Night Raw. Baszler and Stark trying to stick it to the champs ahead of War Games on Saturday. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. We are back live in Miami for Monday Night Raw, and we have a new Intercontinental Champion on the scene! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, the WWE I heard they had to add more leather on the strap for it to fit around Big Brunson Reed. Nonetheless, we take you back to last week. Reed accompanied by Seth Rollins watching his back in the matchup against Dirty Dom of the Judgment Day. You see things going A-wire, referee John Cone having none of it, sending Priest and Rollins, the men who will meet in tonight's main event, to the backstage area. The former Intercontinental Champion now, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, left all alone against the Big Aussie. Another tsunami, something that Dom had felt time and time again, but this time it was for all the marbles and Brunson Reed crowned your brand new Intercontinental Champion. But now the big man returns to action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the man who knows all about the Intercontinental title, the A-list superstar, The Miz. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. 
We want to remind you that Velocity goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. This week, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunn meets Imperium's Giovanni Vinci only on TikTok. You go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen right now. It'll take you right over to the No Nation Gaming TikTok, and you won't miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday on Velocity. We are here in South Beach, five nights ahead of Survivor Series this Sunday in Orlando, Florida. The Miz, who has been on a string of bad luck for quite some time, now runs into the big Aussie, looking to turn his momentum around. Certainly going to be easier said than done. Bronson Reed has been on a tear damn near all year long on Monday Night Raw. And win, lose, or draw, Reed always comes out better. Reed always comes out of that squared circle turning heads. And it was only a matter of time before Championship Gold was strapped around his big waist. Take it out the Miz and crushing the Miz's abdominal. Reed looking for an early victory here and a quick trip to Miami. The Miz going to be able to survive a few moments longer. Bronson Reed, somebody who had been targeting Dirty Dominic Mysterio for weeks. Certainly after raking up victories over the likes of Shinsuke Nakamura, Braun Strowman became an undeniable number one contender. Finally, stood toe to toe with Dirty Dom seven nights ago. And did not allow the chaos at ringside to seep into his mindset. Reed was laser focused on the task at hand, put away the Judgment Day's Dirty Dom, and proclaimed himself the new champion here on Raw. There's the Miz knocking Reed down momentarily. But as time has told us, it's one thing to knock Reed off his feet. It's a whole other thing to keep him there. The Miz, however, desperate to find a way to keep down the Intercontinental Champion tonight. Miz, a man who knows all about that title, multiple time Intercontinental Champion throughout his career. It's just been quite some time since the Miz has found sustained momentum, sustained success here on Monday Night Raw. And he's looking for that to all turn around tonight. Any given Monday, as we always mention. Brunson Reed maybe still riding the high, both mentally and physically, off that Intercontinental Championship win last week. Maybe his mind is not that present. If that is the case, the Miz may have a window of opportunity to take advantage and score an upset over the new champion. Bronson Reed's own agility used against him that time. Sent out of the ring, pair of boots right to the jawline by the Miz. Well, like the Miz or not, that was an effective maneuver, and it's got the Intercontinental Champion, well, at least for a moment, looking up at the lights of the KSI Center. Reed shoving the Miz off him that time. That pair of boots enough to knock some people out, but I think it might have just woke the big Aussie up. Reed did not make the trip to South Beach tonight just to be a stepping stone in the Miz's rebuilding phase. Reed looking to remind the world, remind the locker room that he is a deserving holder of the gold he won seven nights ago. The Miz had a window here. But Bronson Reed slamming it shut. What a power bomb. And out heading to the top for a tsunami. Into the cover. It is academic from here. Thanks for coming, Miz. A huge victory for the Intercontinental Champion. And oh, wait a minute. Solo Sokoa on the scene. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen Solo. He was nursing injuries unintentionally dealt by the Intercontinental Champion Brunson Reed. Solo has returned and he may be drawing the line in the sand calling his shot for championship gold. Can't get enough universe mode? Well now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before.
We take you back to last week on Raw. Jade Cargill continuing to impress a victory over Piper Niven, but a celebration that was cut short by Liv Morgan. Of course, Jade defeating Liv Morgan in her debut matchup several weeks ago. Clearly, Liv showing that she is willing to get her hands dirty if it means getting back to the top of the women's division. And speaking of the top of the division here on Raw, we look towards last week's main event as Bianca Belair stood toe-to-toe -to -toe against her rival Cora Jade inside a steel cage with the WWE Women's Championship on the line. No Roxanne Perez to be needed. No disqualifications in this matchup. Just a cage surrounding these two rivals with one ultimate champion to be crowned. Bianca Belair defeating Cora Jade once and for all and winning back the WWE Women's Championship that was stripped away from her all those months ago at SummerSlam. And now the EST prepares for Survivor Series. The following contest is scheduled for one place in the making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's Champion. Bianca Belair certainly playing spoiler to the original Survivor Series plans. We know that the Queen of the Ring winner, Tiffany Stratton, ever since she wore the crown back in September, had earned herself a Women's Championship opportunity coming up at Survivor Series. It looked as if Cora Jade was going to be the one standing across the ring from the center of the universe. But after last week, Bianca Belair inserting herself into the fold. And now it'll be, but now it'll be, excuse us, Bianca defending the gold against Tiffany Stratton live this Saturday at Survivor Series. Bianca, however, with a little warm up tonight on Raw. Representing the Green Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Well, a lot of eyes on Survivor Series on Saturday, but do not forget what is to come on Sunday afternoon. It is the finale of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. The Cruiserweight Championship going to be on the line as Tyler Bate takes on Wesley in the tournament finals. It has been an exciting seven weeks. We roll into the eighth week on Saturday, live, Sunday, 12 o'clock noon Eastern. Bate, Wesley in the CWC finals. Ivy Nile, who impressed last month here on Raw and showings against Cora Jade and Lyra Valkyria as well. Now with an opportunity one-on-one -on -one against the brand new WWE Women's Champion Bianca Belair. And dare I say, Ivy may find herself in such an opportune state tonight. Bianca Belair, of course, hot off the heels of a extremely physical steel cage main event last week. Gotta wonder if Bianca is feeling the effects of that contest. And of course, Bianca's mind may be on Tiffany Stratton on Saturday. Just as we talked about the champions earlier tonight in the women's tag team title match, if Bianca Belair is not focused on Ivy Nile and is already looking ahead to Stratton on Saturday night. Well, Ivy's going to have an opportunity to take advantage of that distraction and upset the women's champion here in Miami, Florida. Certainly, if that is the case, Ivy will find herself waiting in the wind for whoever walks out of Survivor Series holding the women's championship of Raw. Ivy impressive showings last month here in the red brand. One-on-one -on -one against Cora Jade met Lyra Valkyria on the first night of Halloween Havoc for No Nation Gaming channel members. Bianca Belair clearly showing that she is cut from a different cloth over the last few months. No matter how many times she got knocked down, continued to be resilient, continued to get back up and finally found herself defeating Cora Jade and winning back the championship that she had originally won at SummerSlam only for Cora to swipe it away in a matter of minutes. Nonetheless, Bianca Belair just needs to get through this physical match against Ivy Nile. Powerful, young athlete is Ivy. Certainly not somebody that Bianca can look past or can afford to underestimate. Ivy looking for a golden opportunity tonight. Could be a breakout performance here. She's got Bianca rocked at the current moment, tying her up. Could be going for a torture rack here on the EST. Looking to snap the champ in half. And maybe if the ring positioning was a little bit better, not allowing for that rope break that time, Ivy very well could have upset the champ. Bianca creating some distance. 
A little bit of a sense of urgency, a pep in the step of the EST. Well, they knocked Ivy for a loop as she gets sent to the corner. Now Bianca Belair, strong as all hell, strong as an ox inside of that ring, sends Ivy for a ride face first off the canvas. Gotta imagine Tiffany Stratton has got her eyes on this matchup doing a last minute scouting report on Bianca Belair. Those two women have fought several a times this year. Stratton has defeated Bianca via count out. Bianca has pinned Stratton in a one-on-one -on -one match here on Raw. Now they meet again on Saturday, but look at the counter by Ivy Nile. Just snatched Bianca Belair out of the air, and now it's got Bianca going down off a suplex at ringside. My God! Bianca, sense of urgency, starting to fight through the pain and fight through the punishment. Sends Ivy right to the barrier. Oh no, Niall now getting stuck. He's gonna rock in a hard place. Bianca sending her down to the floor of the KSI Center. Ivy back inside of the ring, trying to hustle up and avoid a count out. But she went right into the waiting arms of the champion, KOD, kiss of death by Bianca Belair. Bianca avoiding the mistake that Ivy made, pulling the body away from the ropes. And this one's gonna find its conclusion here in Miami. A big time victory. Oh, hold that thought. The number one contender, the queen of the ring winner, Tiffany Stratton, out to play some mind games with her Survivor Series opponent. These two women have met twice this year. They find themselves in a rubber match on Saturday for the Women's Championship at Survivor Series. When the tension rises and the war on the battlefield begins, there is only one thing for these superstars to do. Survive! Coming your way on Saturday night, November 16th, for the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. Witness the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic as the superstars of Raw and SmackDown, along with Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships, proudly present Survivor Series! It has been an action-packed night here in Miami, Florida, ahead of Survivor Series on Saturday. Of course, not one, but two War Games matches to come. And the advantage match between Damian Priest and Seth Rollins in moments here on Raw. But what does the advantage mean? Let's take a look at the rules for War Games on Saturday. Of course, two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match at regular intervals. Alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, war games will officially begin. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit for your team. The advantage tonight, so pivotal for both teams entering war games on Saturday. You're looking at a two on one, a three on two, a four on three advantage throughout the contest. Damian Priest and Seth Rollins are about to walk into a matchup here tonight on Raw that'll dictate the pace of war games on Saturday. Certainly high tension ahead of what is to come this Saturday night in Orlando, Florida. We want to direct your attention to what is to come right here tomorrow on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. We're going to take an in-depth look at the road to war games and get you ready for Saturday night at Survivor Series. Tomorrow, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But it has been a tumultuous couple of weeks and dare I say a tumultuous year here on Monday Night Raw. And for the superstars of WWE in general, a lot of those stories set to conclude this Saturday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time at Survivor Series. 
Of course, the main show kick it off at 5 p.m., but for No Nation Gaming channel members, the action is going to kick off a half hour prior. Hit the join button down below and become a No Nation Gaming channel member, and you'll be able to witness this epic six-man gauntlet matchup. Kaz and Wentz from TNA Wrestling, Del Toro and Wild from SmackDown, Javon Evans and Noam Dar from NXT, who is going to earn a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And then we move into the main show, just signed for Survivor Series, Bronson Reed gonna take on Solo Sokoa and defend his Intercontinental Championship. Reed unintentionally injuring Solo Sokoa back in the month of September, putting him on the shelf for several weeks. He is gonna grant Solo Sokoa an Intercontinental Championship matchup in return. These two horses set to collide on Saturday. Then we look towards some action from SmackDown. The United States Championship on the line. Carmelo Hayes looking to win back the gold that he lost to main event. Jey Uso just a few weeks ago. A rematch going down in Orlando, Florida for the red, white, blue, and gold. And certainly red will be the color that paints this upcoming matchup. It is the first blood match between the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre and the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. McIntyre making Dragunov bleed his own blood. This past Thursday night, Ilya looking to do the same to Drew. This bad blood comes to a conclusion in the first blood matchup at Survivor Series. The WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Bianca Belair winning the gold just seven nights ago from Cora Jade. Can she outlast a woman who has been a breakout star of 2024? The Queen of the Ring, Tiffany Stratton. It's for all the marbles on Saturday. In the SmackDown main event, the franchise, John Cena, is chasing his 17th trip to the top of the mountain. Standing in his way is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, two icons of this industry, set to collide for the World Heavyweight Championship. Cena, Rhodes, an instant classic on the horizon. And locked inside war games. The women's tag team champions, Asuka, Io Sky, along with Kyrie Sane and the women's world champion, Roxanne Perez, take on Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, Zelina Vega, and Raquel Rodriguez. A matchup built off greed, gold, respect, lack thereof it, certainly turmoil between all of these SmackDown superstars, and it's going down in the match beyond on Saturday. The women of SmackDown take center stage in the first War Games matchup. Then we look towards the men of Monday Night Raw. The WWE Champion AJ Styles, the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, along with Dominic Mysterio, take on an all-star unit of Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Seth freaking Rollins, and CM Punk. The Judgment Day have been pushing their weight around all year long. Styles has joined them in their fight to take over the red brand. Will these all-stars of Raw be able to step up and knock the Judgment Day and Styles down a few pegs? We find out live this Saturday in the Match Beyond War Games. But who will set the pace? Who will gain the advantage ahead of War Games on Saturday? We showed you the rules moments ago and how pivotal this matchup is set to be. High stakes, high reward in your Monday Night Raw main event as for the first time since August, the Visionary is returning to action. It's interesting to watch AJ Styles be so willing to align with the Judgment Day to take out common enemies. The last time we saw a relationship like that, it was Seth Rollins who aligned with the Judgment Day. And just when one loss went A-wire at SummerSlam, although Seth Rollins wasn't even the man pinned, who did the Judgment Day blame? The man standing in the ring right now. An attack by Damian Priest on the roll after SummerSlam left Seth Rollins on the shelf for upwards of three months. The visionary is seeking retribution over the men in the black and purple. Tonight, Rollins' first matchup since SummerSlam. 
getting his hands on the man who cost some three months of his career and so much is rotting on the line ahead of Survivor Series. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, one half of the world. Damian Priest riding solo tonight as all members of the War Games matchup have been barred from ringside for this advantage contest. We will see a clear cut winner between Damian Priest and Seth Rollins. No questions asked. The advantage of War Games will be earned in the Monday Night Raw main event. Oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins not waiting for a bell. Going right at the Archer of Infamy. Rollins has been waiting to get his hands on Priest between the ropes and maybe outside of them since the month of August. The bell has sounded here in Miami. Seth Rollins' wheels are a spinning. Damian Priest sent to the outside. Suicide dive by the Revolutionary. We are live from the KSI Center, Miami, Florida. This is your Monday Night Raw main event. The advantage matchup ahead of War Games. All parties banned from ringside. Seth freaking Rollins, Damian Priest, five nights before Survivor Series. Rollins is all over the punishment. Rollins is hyped up. Rollins is ready to go. Damian Priest caught between a rock and a hard place, facing the demons of his past in Seth Rollins tonight. You hear Miami singing the song of the visionary. The WWE Universe gaining an appreciation for Rollins, although this man has certainly had a untrustworthy track record. Rollins willing to bury the hatchet with anybody as long as it means getting his hands on the Judgment Day. And that is certainly a noteworthy point to talk about. You remember just a few weeks ago, Rollins extended the hand to Kevin Owens, somebody who has had several battles with throughout this year. Owens ignoring the handshake, walking away from Seth Rollins. If there is a lack of trust between those two superstars, how will that play into the War Games matchup on Saturday? Oh! Well, it's certainly something that would benefit the Judgment Day, just as that Lariato just did. Rollins getting out of it. Damian Priest riding solo tonight, as we mentioned, and you can't say that Priest isn't capable of picking up some victories. This is a man who owns singles victories over the likes of Sami Zayn, Roman Reigns throughout this year on Raw. Certainly a win over Seth Rollins tonight would be a massive feather in the cap of one half of the World Tag Team Champions in Damian Priest. Of course, this past Saturday night at Fall Brawl for No Nation Gaming Channel members, not too far of a trip right down in Tallahassee, Florida. Damian Priest and Finn Balor retaining their tag team championships in an incredible matchup against Johnny Gargano with Tommaso Ciampa. Replay available now, as we mentioned, for No Nation Gaming Channel members. Hit the join button down below and link up in the cards. Go see the replay of Fall Brawl and also gain access to the Survivor Series kickoff show at 4.30 Eastern time this Saturday night. Rollins and Priest jockeying for position here. Certainly knew this wasn't going to be a matchup full of rest holds and wrist locks. It was going to be live rounds being thrown. Seth Rollins has been daydreaming about this contest since the month of August, since Priest laid him out with a south of heaven on the concrete floor. Rollins now going high risk and goes splat at ringside. Priest saw it coming from a mile away. Damian Priest just letting Seth Rollins be his own worst detriment off that high risk maneuver. And now gonna add some salt to the wounds, the beatdown continuing on the outskirts of the squared circle. Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio, AJ Styles not welcome at ringside just as Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and CM Punk are not either. Priest and Rollins mano a mano as Damian drops a massive leg drop from the heavens. Seth Rollins 
first matchup since August. You gotta wonder if there's any ring rust. You gotta wonder if Rollins has already expended his cardio and has already burnt himself out after that early onslaught. Seth Rollins sidestep. Damian Priest now getting caught into the crosshairs of the visionary he gets cradled up. It was only earlier this year that Seth Rollins walks into WrestleMania as the WWE Champion. Same championship reign that he walked into Survivor Series last year with. 12 months later, it's a completely different ball game for the Visionary. He is head hunting, and it starts with Priest. Here tonight, Superplex dead center of the ring. Springboard, Moonsault delivers. Damian Priest on spaghetti legs. And now Rollins going for the exclamation point. A pedigree. Will that be all she wrote? Not just yet, Priest is still alive. Seth Rollins wants that advantage. In war games on Saturday, you saw the rules moments ago, how pivotal it is. Going to the top, Phoenix Splash, and yes, it delivers flush. But Damian Priest is still in this matchup. You hate to give the devil his due, but Damian Priest has grown leaps and bounds throughout 2024. One of the reasons that the Judgment Day have been so dominant. And Priest looking to shove his weight around a little bit more in the Monday Night Raw main event. Takes the rug out from underneath Rollins. There's a reversal by the Visionary. Oh man, Schoolboy trying to steal the victory away from the punishment of the black and purple unit. Not just yet. Man, what a high energy, high octane main event in a sold out KSI center in Miami, Florida. We are five nights ahead of Survivor Series. Tension could not be any higher. Damian Priest now just needs to quiet this audience and take away the rally of Seth freaking Rollins. Priest's best idea in this matchup may be just slowing down the pace. Going for the cover that time, and Rollins gets the shoulder up. The Archer of Infamy, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, a man who just over a month, a month ago, in the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns right here on Monday Night Raw in singles competition. That doesn't tell you that Damian Priest is a dangerous threat for Rollins tonight. I don't know what will. Shot right to the jaw. One of those maneuvers that can certainly knock some screws loose for Seth Freak and Rollins and allow Damian Priest to coast a victory here tonight. And you see Priest extremely confident in his efforts. Rollins looking up at the lights. And Damian Priest could be ready to put this thing away. Priest going for a razor's edge. Rollins up in the air, going for a ride. That's gonna do it. Priest did in the cover. Rollins has got daylight. Priest showing signs of frustration. Another counter by Seth. Well, Seth missing wildly, maybe out on his feet. And if he wasn't already, that time he certainly is. Damian Priest cutting off Seth Rollins' rally cry before he could even start. And now Damian, who has felt very comfortable on top throughout this matchup, heading back to the top of the ropes. Measuring his man, Rollins has no idea what's coming. Wait a minute, counter, maybe he does know what's coming. Down goes Priest. A well-timed, well-executed, and dare I say much needed counter out of the visionary. Rollins on the apron and may have gotten overzealous. Damian Priest knocking him down a size at ringside. Instead of chasing Priest, dare I say wisely, and take a moment for some R&R. &R. There's a reversal by Seth. Seth Rollins clearly has something in mind as he drops Damian Priest with a leg drop on the middle rope. 
Now a springboard goes for the senton. Nobody home off the delivery. And now Priest knocks Rollins down this size once more. Again, Rollins kicks out. You gotta wonder what it's gonna take to keep down such a motivated visionary in his first matchup since SummerSlam. Rollins knocking Priest down off the super kick. Damian rolled to the outside where he can't be defeated just yet. Priest on spaghetti legs. Here's Seth Rollins closing the gap. Cross body to the outside. And Seth Rollins just gonna use the outskirts to his advantage. Dumping Damian Priest head off the floor. Everything that the Judgment Day have done this year, all the sneak attacks across the Monday Night Raw roster, all the underhanded tactics, all the cheating, all the championships they have stolen away, the victories they have ensured they've gotten. There is a unit of Raw All-Stars who is looking to put an end to the games that the Judgment Day loves to implore. But if Seth Rollins loses this matchup tonight, that is gonna be that much more difficult of a task come Saturday. Priest going for an elbow off the top. Nobody home. Swing blade Bry Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins may have one last ditch effort. Priest struggled to get back to his feet. Seth Rollins just looking to find a way to keep him off him. Here's the ripcord elbow to the back of the neck. Seth going high again. And Damian Priest now with a well-timed reversal. Don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. Priest measuring his man and knocking him back down to size. Damian has taken it to the skies several times throughout this matchup as well. About a half and half of how many times it's delivered flush. And there's a shot! Rollins once again looking up at the lights of the KSI Center. Priest feeling comfortable on top tonight. Swanton bombed by the punishment. It missed for Rollins earlier. It delivers for Priest. Rollins has the win taken out of him. Priest just steals a victory. This is not good for the all-star unit of Raw superstars that meet Styles in the Judgment Day on Saturday. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, CM Punk might have gotten to a brawl with Finn Balor in the backstage area and has just brought Balor out of the stage and now is making a beeline for Damian Priest. Rollins fired up eye to eye with the successful punishment of the Judgment Day who just kept down Rollins seconds ago. But we got a brawl on our hands. Moments removed from our Monday Night Raw main event. CM Punk has not forgotten about Damian Priest dropping him with a south of heaven on the top of the stage all the way back in May. The first encounter between these superstars. Rollins getting the last, or I should say CM Punk getting the last laugh. And oh, now what? Well, that was the WWE Champion AJ Styles from behind. CM Punk taking care of Damian Priest and seemingly Finn Balor as well. But now AJ Styles is on the scene. These two superstars who have been jockeying for position in regards to the WWE title ever since the month of September. Now their pass cross again and CM Punk gets sent out of the ring. AJ Styles not looking to see CM Punk reign on the opposing team's parade, Styles taking down Punk at ringside. Bedlam once more here on Monday Night Raw. And oh no, not at ringside. Styles, Styles clash on CM Punk. That is not going to go well for CM Punk and his condition ahead of War Games on Saturday. And Styles isn't done, sending Punk right to the diamond plated steps. And now clearing off the announce table, AJ Styles looking to get the last laugh ahead of War Games. 
AJ Styles has had a history over the last few months of leaving CM Punk laying on his back, staring up at the lights here on Monday Night Raw. And clearly the issues, just that they've continued to have on the road to war games, have only heated up. Oh man, CM Punk up on the announce table, AJ Styles, what the hell is he doing? Styles on the top rope! My God, AJ Styles off the splash, delivering to CM Punk an emphatic statement through the announce table. War Games can't come soon enough. The bedlam that has taken over Monday Night Raw needs to come to an end. On Saturday night, something's gotta give. When these eight superstars enter the match beyond, it's going down live at Survivor Series War Games.